We're here today with Josh of Cattle Decapitation, which I always want to murder that name for whatever reason. I can never get decapitation out of my mouth the right just way. Just trail off. That's fine. <laughs> People kind of get it. Or just say Cattle Decap. That's the very young person internet generation way to say everything. The, the hashtag version? Oh yeah, because I mean you have to abbreviate everything when you have nothing to do and you basically sit at your parents' house. You gotta, you know, you live a go lifestyle. You have to, you don't have time to say the entire name. No, no, I understand, I understand. Gotta save those, those milliseconds by all means. But this is the end of this tour, right? So have you guys had a good run? Have you been enjoying it so far? Absolutely. It's been great. Cannibal's great and their crew's great. The show's been really good. So far, Surreption's awesome dudes, great band. And uh, yeah, we're sad to say there's only one more day and that's in Orlando tomorrow. <laughs> Well, and the biggest thing that, that I've personally seen that you guys have announced lately is Hellfest being oh, on that yeah. bill. Yeah, that was announced, I think, a couple days ago. Um, that's, as you could, I'm sure you've seen, it's quite the lineup. So we're excited. We'd um, always been told by, like, our friends in Europe that, that, you know, had played it themselves. They're like, you've got to do it if you can. So over the past couple of years, just with, like, us writing for this, the most recent record and then other factors or just the timing hadn't been right, but uh, we got it lined up this year. So we'll be, yeah, in, in France for Hellfest. No, no, and if you don't know, when it comes to Metal Fest, Europe kind of kicks our asses. We do have, I mean, the guys that do Maryland Death Fest, um, the, the bands that are on that, like, the, who they choose, it's curated excellently. Like, I mean, it's the best stuff, I mean, in my opinion, for my taste. Really, <laughs> really good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's on the opposite coast that I live, but um, in Europe, though, I mean, it's just like, it's, it's much more of a cultural thing. Like, it's an ingrained part of the metal culture over here. We're, um, Milwaukee Metal Fest for so many years over here was the fest, and then that kind of fell off, and then we just didn't have anything for a while, and then Maryland came up, and they're building it still, but they've got a really good foundation, but, I mean, for the big spectacle, like, you know, almost Woodstock-style fest, Europe's got, you just can't really challenge them for that, so, but Hellfest is, real, I don't want to say new, it's not new, but I mean, it's in the history of, like, you know, how Metal Fest goes, it's kind of new, but it's really made a huge impact already, I mean... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be like kicking Vakken off anytime soon, but it's <laughs> but it's going to be neck and neck before too long. Yeah. Um, so yeah, kudos to them for doing it right. You know? No, no, it's a beautiful lineup for sure. And on that, sometimes when you play events like this in a band, you don't get to see everybody. But is there somebody on that lineup that you're itching to try and sneak off and be able to see that you maybe haven't before? Or? It's I, I I kind of did that brief scan where I'm like, whoa, and yeah. then I didn't really have a time to like take it all in. So. Um, I don't know. I'll have to investigate further and give you a better answer at a later date. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's an honest answer. That's part of just being a touring live yeah. musician sometimes, well, too. Is yeah, you just see the over, like, okay, it's, um, it's like Black Sabbath, Rammstein, and I'm sure they're going to announce another couple bigger heavy hitter ones. And then just all these, you know, it's just like, oh, 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 okay, I'm sure we'll be playing when they're playing, or, like, there'll be some conflict. Oh, cool. You know, so it's, I'll just have to weed through it. You know. Well, and it hasn't been too long ago since you guys released an album, but are you already kind of in the works of writing the next one? Or are you already kind of have something brewing? Because you always do such interesting things concept-wise. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> With the last thing, we're, I shouldn't say the last thing, but like we're, it's like, well, the way we, at least the way we usually work is um, do like, say, year and a half tour cycle after an album comes out, go home, don't talk, talk to each other for a couple months, and then kind of bring forth, you know, whether riffs or parts that we've been kind of brewing on personally um, over that time, you know, which I don't know if it's going to work that way again this year, or this, this, this upcoming, how many years that down the line cycle, because uh, one of our members lives in a different state now, so we're going to have to figure that out. Hopefully it won't take the root of this emailing crap, because... <laughs> No, no, they're, they're, you know, the, the digital age is great, and there's a lot you can do with technology, but there's nothing that beats sitting in a room with yeah, each I mean, other. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, that's, all, I mean, I guess it's grandpa, but, like, it's always the way I've done it, so it's obviously not to say that there aren't other bands that are completely successful doing it, oh, you, yeah, know, no. and, you know, you know, and do it, you know, very well. It's just, it's going to be something to either get used to or completely reject. We'll see. <laughs> Well, and, and what he's saying, too, is there's a handful of bands out there that weirdly almost even haven't met each other. They just are internet projects. So it's it's a weird animal that has happened as time has happened. But we definitely appreciate your time. and looking forward, like, everything to the show tonight. It's been, you guys have been on my bucket list to see for a while, so very excited about it. And is there anything else you just want to say to fans and tell them to get out there and support support metal music in general? Because sometimes, you know, we're great. We're, we're very... Um, rabid fan base but the more the merrier yeah absolutely i mean i know everyone's you know after a certain point people get older and you know you have more responsibilities you may have maybe kids in the mix or just other life sort of events and it is hard to get out there so at a certain point i understand you know 
you just you've had a long week and it's not a point of like oh I need to unwind it's like no I can't even leave my couch so that's understandable but if you're young and you're still leeching off your parents get out there and spend <laughs> money otherwise if you're older and have other responsibilities you can do your best but we understand if you're older and have responsibilities buy albums yeah. buy actual buy albums, albums. You want to contribute. You <laughs> buy albums order the shirt come out you know one out of every three or four times you know it's like it's I we understand but you know well, beautiful, beautiful, kill it. We appreciate your time today, darling, and we'll see you on the inside.